Guess what, everybody? Tim's going back to Alaska, but not, not yet. Not, yeah, not yet. <laughs> he's going back in June. Yeah, June 25th. But yeah. this is not about me today. It's about this guy. This guy. I'm going to New Mexico. I want. To, I need to see that one. Videos. I have never been on a plane alone before. Yeah, you better actually talk to the people next to you. Oh, I always talk to the people next to me. I never not. I never not do. Can we get that on a T-shirt or something? I yeah. never not do. So as you can see, I'm bringing my camera and my laptop. And you know what that means? I'm gonna be making videos on the trip. And not just any videos, New Mexico food travel videos. Also, quick bites, and those will be coming out too. I am the only editor, so bear with me, but thank you. This is it, goodbye Tim. Bye. And I'll see all of you in New Mexico. Whoa, I'm in Mesilla, New Mexico, one of my favorite places on earth. It has some of my favorite people and some of my favorite restaurants in the world. My mom and I are gonna go to our first stop, which is Chalas Wood Fired Grill. Let's go. I'm from Kansas City. And, yeah, and I was actually born in New Mexico, and so I came back, I'm like, I wanna get some good episodes done yeah. here. Faith. Yeah. Well, my sister told me to get this, and it's the red enchiladas with an egg on top. Yeah. She said, show them this picture and get it exactly Look like that. Like. Is that possible to do oh, that? Of course. She made it specific that I had to get exactly that. Well, we will get you exactly that. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So that was Faith, wonderful waitress. I can't wait to eat this food. She said a few things about the pork chops. They smoke it to medium rare, and then they finish it off on the wood-fired grill. So it's like the best of both worlds. You get the smoked flavor, and you get the wood-fired flavor. It's gonna be amazing. So I got the pork chops. We also got some tacos al pastor, which mom got, and those are always awesome. You must remember from the San Antonio's episode when we all got tacos al pastor. So delicious. My favorite thing in the world are those tacos. Rebecca, my sister, who is also one of our patrons suggested that I get this exact kind of enchiladas preparation with an egg on top. So we're gonna try that too. And then we got some bizcochos for dessert, and I'm also gonna try some chalas tea. So it's gonna be a great filling meal. Really? Very good. It's Mexican tea, chalas tea. This is really good, and I'm not actually a fan of unsweetened iced tea. It really depends on the kind of sweetener they put in it, but this is perfect. I would order this at any restaurant, if it were at any restaurant. She said it's sweetened, and then it's got a little bit of spice to it, and I can tell. It's almost like a Christmassy kind of feel, except it's not Christmas, but. So I'm gonna try these pork chops. They're smoked to medium rare, and then finished on the wood-fired grill for that smoky and wood-fired taste. It's resting on a bed of apricot preserves and roasted potatoes. And on the top, you can find Swiss chard and kale sauteed in white wine and bacon. Oh my goodness, that sounds good. And the pork chop itself is finished off with a five chili barbecue sauce. Let's dig in. I should go to a school where they teach me how to cut my food because I'm not very good at it. Oh. The dimensions of flavor just keep going and going and going. There's always a new flavor that keeps rising. I'm sure I have only tried about 10% of the full capacity of this flavor explosion right now. Wow, this is incredible. I wish they had this in Kansas City. The pork chop is perfectly cooked and smoked. I can taste, I can taste both the smoke flavor and the wood fire flavor. She was not kidding when she said that. And that five chili barbecue sauce, oh, it's out of this world. If you come here, get this. I'm sure I'll say the same thing about everything else, so. <laughs> and now we move to the red enchiladas with an egg on top. My sister Rebecca, who is also a patron on Patreon, suggested that I get this exact plate. She took a picture of it two years ago when she came here and she said, Josh, you have to get this dish. And so I said, okay. I showed it to the waitress, Faith, and she said, oh yeah, we can do that for you and it's gonna be amazing. So I can't wait to try this out. With the smoked pulled pork on top, complete with a side of Spanish rice and whole beans, sour cream, and a little salad. Digging in. 
That is amazing. My sister Rebecca said that these are the best red enchiladas she's ever had in her entire life. And I think I have to agree because I've never had anything like these before, anything as good as these before, I should say. And um, it's got a bit of a kick to it, and I really, really like that. If you were to ask me if I was to choose red or green, which is like the state question of New Mexico, I would choose red. Green is good on some foods, and red is good on other foods. This egg is also wonderful. It looks like it's cooked over easy. That smoked pulled pork is nice and tender definitely taste smoked. One of my absolute favorite things to eat at any Mexican restaurant and also anytime I come down to New Mexico itself is Spanish rice. It's a little bit nostalgic for me because I grew up eating it a lot. I think I need to try some more food. Josh let me try his pork chops and they were incredible. I'm not that great of a barbecue fan but I do love the pork chops. They were excellent. The enchiladas are one of the best meals I've ever had but the best thing are my pastor tacos fabulous they are so so good tender tender meat you squeeze a little lime on them put a little cilantro on them and some onions sprinkle it with some salsa and it is the best meal you have ever had so I can try some yes. And I love tacos out the store. And you remember this from the San Antonio's episode. I say it's my absolute favorite meal I've ever had in my life. I don't know if these have anything on those, but this is New Mexico, and I'm gonna have to try it. Oh yeah. So I think I probably eat tacos al pastor a, a little bit differently than some other people because a lot of people like to have pineapple in theirs. But I am not that big of a fan of having pineapple in my food. But this makes it like taste great. Like it's supposed to be in here. And tacos al pastor, for those of you who don't know, is marinated pork. Delicious! Every single one of these meals is fantastic. You can't go wrong when you order, I'm guessing, everything on the menu. I'm guessing every single thing on the menu tastes amazing. This place has been suggested to me multiple times since I've gotten down here to New Mexico. And this place is located in Mesilla, New Mexico. But we're not done yet. We have to do the dessert because that's the last part of the meal. Biscochos. These are biscochos. And these are uh, Mexican wedding cookies, and they're delicious. A lot of times they're seasoned with sugar or cinnamon or another spice called anise. And some people say anise. Oh. Okay, one. These are insanely incredible. So delicious. Two, don't do what I just did and stick multiple in your mouth because it's almost like eating sand, but good sand. They're cookies and they're really brittle and really crumbly, but they're so delicious. Just, you know, eat one bite at a time. Everything in moderation. I love biscochos. And you can go to any store here in the Silla, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, probably in a lot of places in KC or in other places and find these. So that has been another episode of Will Vlog for Food. Thank you for joining me. Tim, I'm sorry you couldn't be here and try all this great food, but it's good, man. I'm telling you. Um, you're going to have to come down here and try some. That's all I can say. For those of you who are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We're posting all the time. We come out with a new episode every week. This food is incredible. If you want to see more like it, catch up with our episodes. Or look at our past episodes, see those episodes. Also, if you want to catch some behind the scenes quick bites while I'm down here in New Mexico, I'm actually making more videos than just this one, but they're not all visible to the public. So if you want to see those, go on Patreon and you can be a supporter there and you get multiple new episodes, not just here in New Mexico, but in other places too, and more perks just like it. Until next time, chill out and feast. <laughs>